It'd be like going to the store and saying, hey, I'll give you 10 bucks for this. And they're like, no. And then they're like, hey, I'll give you 10 bucks for this. And you have to say no again. Hi, I'm Tara. I'm Dave. We're the, We're the Thirsty, Thirsty Thrifters. Thrifters. Cheers. Cheers. He always gets to drink first. The I'm a part-time <laughs> for your campaign. I'm a part-time reseller on White Day White. Poshmark and eBay. I sell on Facebook Marketplace and eBay. Mostly eBay. And we make videos about reselling and what sold on our platforms and what hauls we do and that kind of stuff. And whatever else we want to make videos about. And today's a what sold. For one week, both of us for one week. So we're gonna start with my eBay sales. Then Dave's you got? seven. Ooh, I got more eBay sales than you. But okay. you have seventeen times as many sales. eBay, then eBay, then Poshmark. Okay. Okay? Go. And watch the bloopers at the end. There will be a bunch, I'm sure. Oh, whatever. The first thing I sold was a Kodak Max versatility film thing you know what that means this is a kodak moment y'all oh, gosh this was a making the best of a bad buy situation it was like a grab bag at our goodwill that's three dollars but this was in there i thought hey i'll try to sell it it sold for i think 11.99 you'll see on the screen it took months to sell so i'm not recommending buying these but <clears> thankfully <throat> i made some money next was a new with tags michael simon cardigan I bought this for $4 at my Goodwill, and it's been almost a year since I listed it. I can't believe it took this long to sell. It was brand new with tags, it was silk, and it was lizards on the front with beads. Lizards? It was so cool. I don't know why it took forever to sell and sold for far, far less than I originally listed it for. I think I took $20. The next thing that sold was a Icebreaker Merino wool shirt. I believe I got this at the bins. It was listed. That. It was listed for two months on Poshmark. I got constant offers for twenty dollars, and it was listed for forty. I listed it on eBay, and I got a twenty dollar offer immediately. I was like, "What's going on? This again?" But then I got a thirty dollar offer the next day, and I took it. So it sold like a day or two after listing it on eBay. That theme is going to come up a lot. America and Beyond Tote. This we got at a um, garage sale. Well, yard sale because it literally was in our yard. Right around the corner last summer. I paid $2 for that. several bags. Audubon? Yes. I remember. I finally sold. I can't re even remember what the offer was. But you can see it on the screen. Next was a St. John Collection sweater. This I know I got at the bins. And it had... What? You love St. John. I like selling it. I, mm -hmm. um, I got it at the bins. It had two holes in it that I knew about, but I was planning to stitch them up. So I fixed the holes. They still didn't look perfect because they were pretty big holes. The day I listed it on eBay after being on Poshmark for two months, it sold. I got I had it listed for 50 and it, I got a $40 offer and accepted. The next item was from the Hoarder House. That that uh, Hoarder House just keeps on giving. It keeps selling stuff from that. I still have all the There's summer so stuff I stuff. haven't even listed yet, and that's coming soon. So this was a really cute shirt that had a white and blue bow on the front. It was listed on Poshmark for two months. The day I listed it on eBay, well, maybe not the day. It was the week I listed it on eBay. I sent an offer to all the watchers and somebody accepted. I... Next, last on eBay, Bryn Walker cotton gauze shirt. This had been listed on Poshmark for two months for $30. I actually looked up comps. When you look up Bryn Walker shirts, they are all very high priced. The ones for sale right now, like 60 to $80. So I put mine on there for 30 as it was priced on Poshmark thinking oh people will think this is a great deal immediately low offers I don't understand <laughs> and then I sent out 
a offer to watchers of $24 and somebody accepted. Like two, a couple days after I listed it. Two offers today from a guy, same guy, for $10 for like Columbia fleece. The same fleece or the different fleece? The same one. And I counter offered 15 which is a pretty good price. And he sent me another offer for ten dollars. It doesn't really bother me. It's just, it's just like. But you talk kind of, about it a lot. It's funny though. That's why I talk about it. It's like. It's your turn. It'd be like going to the store and saying, "Hey, I'll give you ten bucks for this," and they're like, "No," and then they're like, "Hey, I'll give you ten bucks for this," and you have to say no again. It's like well, that's weird. Anyway, all right. First thing I sold is um, some Crocs. Tall rain boots. They're yellow. And, uh, are they kids? No, they're like women's. I thought those were kids' boots. Size 8. Uh, sold them for $24. They don't weigh much, and we got them at the bins. Okay. Next thing is uh, North Face convertible pants. I wanted these real bad. Somebody paid full price, $24.99. I was not going to take any offers <laughs> because they're my size, and I liked them a lot. So next is... Lacoste long sleeve red shirt. We got this uh, at the sack deal. So we got a whole sack. <laughs> yeah. They call Brown it a bag paper sale. Sack. They call it a bag sale, actually. Bag sale, sack, <laughs> sack deal, deal, whatever. The, sack the, deal. The bag sale. <clears throat> and they How actually, good of a deal? Like we got like 10 things for $3. They, they used the paper grocery sacks and they stuffed it full. I thought we were going to have two bags, which was still a good been, deal. Yeah, six it would have been bucks, six bucks for like 10 things. Nat Nas Luxury Original. Sold it. Yeah. That like, was from the same sale. Same sale. Same $3 bag. This was a $25 shirt. It's all silk. And it's, um, it was, it had like a music and grilling theme to it. And it's embroidered. It was a cool shirt. That I learned of that brand, so he bought it without knowing this information, but I had heard of that brand from Jambalaya Resell. Is it Resell or Reseller? She has a YouTube channel that I watch. So I had heard her talk about that brand, and I would have recognized it, but he bought it without It's just one of those info. shirts that when you, it was if you're a guy and you look enough. at it, yeah, first of all, it's interesting looking because it's got the embroidery and it's all like music and jazz and... You can tell it's just like jazz and grilling. And then you... Those always go together. Right, but then you feel it, it's silk. You know it's a nice shirt. And then you see it's it's a luxury brand. But anyway, next, Levi's 513. Um, these were the um, gray Jeez. yeah gray jeans. Sold them for $26.99. They were in good shape. Oh, Big Smith. I sold Big Smith. You remember it was this long story about the overalls. Yeah. Yeah. I listed it as big Ben, which is American made and more expensive. And somebody helped me out, corrected me. Uh, I sold those for 15 bucks moving on. Oh, this is from that same bag. The bag worked that out well. $3 bag. Uh, 1999. I sold some, um, warm up pants what that brand? we Nike. Oh, okay. And they're waterproof. They're really nice. They're lined with cotton. I sold those for 20 bucks. The next thing I sold was a Sorel um, Black 1964 Premium Winter uh, Lined Boots. Yeah, these were also something that I wanted to keep, but they are not my size. Next, Columbia Men's Size Large. I got an offer for 20 bucks. And I'm, was it mold? I mold over, over it. Yeah, I mold over it for like a whole day and finally accepted the offer because it's going to be warm soon. Same with this marmot. It's a winter jacket. I took 25 bucks. Oh, somebody just declined my $15 <laughs> offer. This the guy didn't. Yeah, the same guy. Let's I've, see if you get a new $10 offer during the I'm going to get a new video. $10 offer any moment now. <laughs> okay, let's go to Poshmark. And I have 24 items. I'll go through quickly. First is Kate and Mallory denim jacket. My mom gave me this to sell, and it was listed for three and a half months. 
it was a cute style, but it had like a stain on it somewhere. Still sold it for $17. The next item, oh, another thing for my mom, Pretty Angel Iridescent Tunic Top. Iridescent, what's that mean? This is iridescent. It's like shimmery and sparkly oh, and kind of changes like, colors. It kind of depends on how you look at it to what color you see. Yeah, yeah, that's what iridescent means. So Pretty Angel is a brand with kind of a following, but I am not really in tune with that crowd. <laughs> yeah, it's not high dollar sales, but it's a brand people love if they love it, which is not me. But my mom gave it to me. A Lucy after class quilted jacket. This was from the bins. Lucy is a brand I really like to wear. So I do buy a lot of it to try she's, to resell, but it is tough to resell these days. also a niece that I really do like. It was listed for two months and sold the day after I relisted it for $24. Next was Patagonia Retool Snap Fleece Vest. This was in a haul. It was in the Anderson Goodwill. I paid $6 for it. It was my size, but I do not like vests, so I wasn't even tempted. It sold for $40. I had it listed for like a day or so. Boom. I got not a vest down long. there that you cleaned up, and I can't wait to talk about when I sell it. Okay. Carhartt. This was in our haul from that mom and pop thrift shop I went to. I purchased it the day before people started setting their stuff on fire. 71. <laughs> So I, I didn't buy it because of the controversy. I bought it oh because of God. Carhartt. I got it home and realized <laughs> that the pink Carhartt coats are kind of rare. So I started getting likes immediately and it sold in two days. It was listed for $75 and I got a $71 offer. Lululemon Rush Hour Tights. These are, let's see, they were from the bins. They were listed for a little less than a month. I thought they would go faster because there's a certain fabric that a lot of people are buying from Lululemon right now. It's newer. It's called Rulu. I think it's Rulu. I hope Rulu. it's Rulu. <laughs> it's very, very soft. Rulu? Rulu. I've sold several things in that fabric, but it's really soft and comfortable. I was surprised they took this long to sell and didn't sell for more. Um, $35. A Vince tie-dye t-shirt. I had this listed for a long time, five months. I don't really buy Vince anymore in just a shirt. It needs to be a sweater, a jacket, shoes. It, it needs to be something more substantial because the shirts just aren't good sellers. It only sold for $16. Next is something else from the Hoarder House. A pair of pants. Wide leg houndstooth print pants. Houndstooth. There were so many of these pants. I think I still have two or three for sale. I've sold two or three. Sold for $20. They took mm, three months to sell. A sheer apron. This was also from the Hoarder mm. House, I think. No, this was from the, the old lady's house. Sheer the next... apron. Okay, it's purple, sheer, why? and it's an apron. I mean, but why? I don't know. It was pretty and ruffly and dainty. I don't know. It was like brand new condition. This was from the most recent house that we cleaned out their estate. Anyway, that sold for $15. It wasn't listed long. These were kind of surprising to me. These are Garnet Hill Perfect Travel Pants. I got these at the Muncie surprising. Goodwill. Hopefully to wear myself but I didn't like the way they fit. They were half off, so they were $2 each. And then I looked up comps. 56 bucks, that is surprising. And the comps were really good. So <laughs> I put the two pairs together and sold wow. them for $56. So that is Garnet, surprising. Garnet Hill travel pants are a good seller. Columbia downfill jacket coat. This was listed for two months and I finally sold it on an offer to Likers of $28. I don't know why. Nobody wanted it. It was warm. It was size large. Lululemon black groovy shorts, size 10. These were from the bins and they were... Um, groovy. Well, that's the name of them. Super groovy. The liner that looks like underwear in a lot of running shorts was wow. cut out. So it was just shorts, which I don't remember if I knew that when I bought them, but they were from the bins. I was going to buy them anyway. 
They sold in a couple weeks for $24. Next was a Liverpool pair of maternity jeans. Liverpool is a brand sold through Stitch Fix and it may be sold elsewhere. I'm not sure, but I know it's sold through Stitch Fix. I relisted these and they sold the day or the day after I relisted them for $15. Liverpool is a brand I do buy cheap enough. It's not a high dollar seller. So dollar day or the bins only. Next is a coach black leather portfolio folder. I don't know. What? This was at the bins. It was small, like four and a half inches by seven inches or so. And it had a pin holder on the inside and a couple of little slots. But it was coach, I, so I grabbed it. It had a lot of likes and it sold for 20 bucks. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's stuff people just like throw to the side at the bins. They're so they fast. They don't know what it is, yeah. They just go so fast. I'm just like watching them. I'm like, man. Stuff. They miss tons of stuff. And I get it. This was in my Instagram stories, this item. This oh. is the item that has the most likes of anything in my closet ever because I do relist oh, it's things lingerie. after two months. So I don't have anything in my closet that's been listed longer than two months. Yeah. So this was a torrid. Show the like, picture. You'll see it. It's on the it's screen. It's lingerie, y'all. It's a mesh, I don't know, thing. Um, so it had 50 some likes. And it was getting ready to be relisted. And finally, I got a $20 offer. I had posted on Instagram, like, why do I have so many likes and nobody will buy it? And Amanda said, put Valentine's Day in it. And I thought I had. And I looked at my description in the, in the title so and I had And I hadn't put that in there. So I added it to the title. And I don't know if that's it, but it did sell the next day. That's so. probably why she's a lawyer. <laughs> All my smart friends are lawyers, too. I'm your smart friend, and I'm not a lawyer. I do play one on TV. <laughs> That's why I counted you. This is a vintage flower knit sleeveless sweater. This is from the Hoarder House. I got a lot of stuff from the Hoarder House because there was a lot of stuff. So this had embroidered flowers on the front. It was really cute. Sold for bucks. full price of $30 after I'd relisted it. Wow. It's been a very slow January, but I've been not trying as hard as usual because I'm trying to decrease how many items I have for sale so that he can increase. All right. So that's it for our week. Cheers. Cheers to, to you. the chickens. To the chickens. Tune in again next week. We'll be back, we think. We'll be back or we won't. Those are the choices. I missed Three. two times. Three, four, five, <laughs> six. I'm touching it. I'm touching it. Okay, <laughs> turn it off. Why does it look like I have a bruise on my forehead? Because I punched you in your sleep last night. Thanks. JK. I'll just edit out the JK. I know, right? This is this sucks. You're too good at this now. It's weird. But it it was looks free. like you have a bruise on your forehead, like it really does look like I... But I don't. I really didn't hit her. That was a joke. I do not hit that. I edited out that joke, so now I have to put it in right oh, here, probably. Oh, you did. No, I'm not bruised. But yeah. it looks like the same over here sometimes. I don't have bronzer on. I don't contour my head, my face, my head. I don't contour my face either, so I don't know what it is. Yeah, I'll just cut them out, because I don't like that whitey tidy feeling. I thought this is gonna be like a 20 minute video. It will nope. be when I cut all of the parts out that I don't like that you said. <laughs> You're doing that on purpose now. You're inserting random comments into the middle of what I say. Stute Solutions LLC. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna send him another $15. I'd be blocking. Offer. If it happens three no, times in a row, I no, block. I'll do it 10 more times. I don't care. I'm going head to head. We will ram each other until one of us dies. I'm going to keep sending them offers. I don't care. I'm going to get you. I will ram you. I have a special set of skill sets. <laughs> That's will, not how the phrase goes. <laughs> <laughs> and I will, you said I twice. Will, I will hunt him down. No, he won't. This is a flea sw 
sweatshirt. Let's not talk about hunting <laughs> people down. All right, fine. What okay. kind of lizards are they? Geckos. They look like geckos to me. This is not a Geico commercial. No. Liverpool is a city that likes to party. Okay. Your anecdotes are great. <laughs> Vests are weird. Like, why are, why are your arms so hot? We've talked about this many times. I don't know. Is your chest that cold? I don't know, Dave. Or are their arms so hot? $30. I was incorrect, as usual. I didn't say it. Oh, I just got a notification something. and I sold something, but I can't see what it was. It's a bummer. Most people around here, they're like, I know a guy named Big Ben. And he wears overalls.